ecstatic love of Krishna. But to get prema, you have to see Krishna. You have to realize him. So Lord Chaitanya, in the beginning, he realized Krishna, and from then on, he was in prema. So these things were all described by Vrindavan as Thakur. How when Lord Chaitanya came back, it, he was Nimai Pandit, he came back and he was Gora Hari, he was so much ecstatic in Krishna's service. People thought he'd gone mad. Why is he crying for Krishna? Why is he shouting for Krishna? Why is he always talking about Krishna? Too much religious! In India they like to say, too much religious. What's wrong? When the devotees start chanting Hare Krishna, eating prasadam, reading Bhagavatam, the parents sometimes say, you're too much religious, right? You can just go once in a while to the temple, pray to the devas and get some ashirvads. Why you have to be so religious? Why you have to do so much? Youth is meant for enjoying. They don't know the highest happiness, the highest ecstasy, the highest enjoyment is serving Krishna. They think going to the movies is enjoyment. You young people should spend all their time in the cinemas. And then when they get old, they can go to the temple because anyway, they're too old to do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Someone came back from India, from uh, America, to Bangalore, had a three-story house. And the brother said, now you're retired, now you're at property. You had so much money, you worked so many years in the West. Now you can concentrate and just uh, meditate on Krishna. You can go to the temple. He said, you always told us that the old age was meant for doing spiritual activities. He said, well, I go to the temple, but I can't concentrate my mind. All my life I'm thinking about the money. Where to put my money? Union trust, mutual fund, stock market. Now the stock market crashed. Recently, people are in India already shook out. I was just talking to one man who was a stockbroker. He said, hey, sometimes the stocks go up, sometimes they go down. It's like, <laughs> I said, do you ever buy stocks? No, never. <laughs> <laughs> I just sell them, I'm stuck. <laughs> so the poor elderly man, he was, he said, I go in front of Balaji, I go in front of Ranganathji, I go in front of Guru Bhaiya, but all I can think about is my money. Prahlad said, what age you have to start chanting? Well, from what age you have to start practicing? Prahlad, you know? <coughs> what he told his friends, his student friends? Five. Yes, what's your name? I used Let's give I used a big hand. I used Mati. Kumaram Achare Pragyo. From five years of age, you should start to practice. We should be practicing our own life. So, Chaitanya says, Grihe Thako, Bone Thako, Sada Hare Bole Thako. Whether you're a Grihasta, <coughs> living with family and children, whether you're a Vairagi, living in the ashram, Everyone should chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. So, they thought Lord Chaitanya was uh, crazy, or had some mental imbalance, why is he so much <laughs> So then he went to see uh, Srivas Thakur for audience to find out whether he really had a disease. He said, could I ask you a question? He said, yeah, it's okay. <coughs> What's your question? 
So some people say that I have imbalance of my heirs. According to Ayurveda, there's three doshas. Vayu dos, Kapha dos, Pita dos. So Vayu dos means like imbalance, emotions, mental, different things like that. So they say that I have this Vayu dos. So what's your symptoms? So whenever I chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, I feel so different. I just can't help but tears coming from my eyes, my hair is standing in my hand, my voice is choked up. Is it true I have a disease? Shiva said yes. You have a disease. And I want that disease too. <laughs> Nobody wants disease, so when you say you want any disease, you know you just kill it. You have the disease of love of Krishna, which is very rare. Very rare. Brahma and Shiva, they hope to get that love for Krishna. So all these things were explained by Vrindavanda Thakur. How Dityananda came and met Lord Chaitanya, how the Sankirtan movement was held by him. Actually, Shiva said, people they won't understand because they don't know what love of Krishna is. They just know material happiness, they don't know what the spiritual happiness is. So you can come and chant in my garden and I'll invite some confidential devotees who will be able to appreciate your chanting. So today is the day the Mahmoudis Tapur appeared in the world of the Holy Ghost and the as of his effort that we know so many things about. You said they had a slide for that? Yes, from last month. What was what was so amazing to me is that how Krishna and his associates who were in Vrindavan they came down to this material world to spread the message of Krishna, to spread Krishna consciousness.
she's came here. They were going to the door. Yeah, they were going to the door. The spreading of the message, this is something for everyone to do. Robert said that we asked him. This is a report that we give to the GPC every year. What's our progress in navigation? Preaching. Uh, Prabhupada and then in India and also here in the West told me to spread the Krishna conscious uh, message to the congregation. So his mercy trying to do something. Everyone can chant the name of Krishna, the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, discuss Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam, install deities of Radha Krishna and Gornitai or both, worship them very carefully in one's home. It is time that we had to open different temples, different centers all over the world. 
There are many places in the world where there's no temple. Of course, when you have a big congregation like here, then it's natural that you want to have a nice temple where everybody can get together. But it's not that Krishna Conscious has to reach a place in the form of a temple first. First people can come chant in their home practice. Our ministry is a uh, mission statement and goals. To assist this kind of developing their congregations both in places where there are temples and where there are not, not in a systematic, empowering, sustainable way according to the teachings of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Vaishnava Sampradaya and in particular Srila Prabhupada we wish to assist to education and consultancy the building of harmonious, vibrant Vaishnava communities based on universal principles of congregation development such as Deeply caring attitude toward all the members. We organize organization of the congregation in small groups to maintain intimacy and allow easier management and care. Just a nice small group. <laughs> According to Lord Chaitanya and Srila Prabhupada teaching, every devotee should be engaged in propagation and sharing the message of Krishna consciousness with others. The congregation receive regular quality supervision and support. Establish a culture of training and education in which all the members are systematically guided to build the necessary knowledge, skills, and values for successful spiritual development. An effective performance of devotional service. Giving long term support and care of devotees throughout their lives from childhood, conception of uh, samskaras. This morning I did a anaprasana samskar. We do those things here, we have anaprasana, vidyaramba, honeymoon. We just fed the grains to the young man and went to the airport. And then to the death. Sometimes the bodies and now cancer, many things come and they need to be there chanting and giving support to the devotees when they leave their bodies so they can remember Krishna. So these are congregational principles. We want to empower the congregation to help in preaching to fulfill Lord Chaitanya's Mahaprabhu's instruction to give Krishna consciousness to others. We wish to see this culture of outreach and sharing of spiritual knowledge and shelter become deeply ingrained in every Vaishnava, either temple or home based. To make the temple as a Tirtasthan, a place of pilgrimage for the congregation, and to develop extended Vaishnava communities with the temple in the center. To explore and develop sponsor new areas of outreach like prison preaching, institutional preaching, youth preaching, youth congregational programs, etc. So, this is our mission. Our activities, we publish books and magazines, present courses, offer consultancy, assist in organizing events, have a website, organize a festival. <coughs> we have some new staff members. Seva Saru, Panari Devi, and managers and treasurer. Vaikuntha Nitai is the publication manager. Abhinanda Nitai in the publication. Seva Shakti Devi Priya, the events in South America mainly. 
Victor Gopal Das, he's helping with editing. He's in with the administrator of writing. Rampage Lager. This is Lankar Krishna. Training in South America. In the Levante Multimedia and Vigo. This is PowerPoint. Punishwar is our webmaster. She's German. She does English, she knows Spanish and German. Spanish section. Anybody has any time like to help ministry or always need a more people? Is there a present uh, website? We get different writers, different leaders uh, from around this country to contribute their writing. And, um, We also like to get reports. I hear that it's like your experiences in the field here when developing the congregation and the Bhakti Viksha groups. We'd like to get your realizations, share with the other people on the website. Your children's program, whatever you're doing. Very inspiring for others. <laughs> Bhakti Vino Thakur predicted that uh, activities related to the Namha preaching would in a very short time become immense and widespread. Bhakti Siddhanta said to establish printing press, excuse me, organize devotional literature, sastras to be distributed, and spread the Namha preaching. He also said by spreading Namha preaching, more people come to Mayapur, and the whole movement will expand. Many people don't know that he also said to do Namha preaching. New publications. Bhakti Viksha new edition is in Spanish. It's published in Bolivia by this Devotee Sankirtan. We have our uh, journal coming out every quarter. We have a new English book just came out in April. We wanted to get out to Gorpati, but we couldn't make it different leaders uh, around the world, the preachers have contributed to this book. It's ready now. You want copies of the contact? It's a book on the preaching the production. Some of the other previous publications. Highlights. Last year I went, uh, I met the mother of the Gopinath and some other devotees at the strategic planning meeting in Vrindavan. This uh, strategic planning team is very inspiring. Courses in Rio and Sao Paulo and Malaysia and La Paz and Cochabamba, Bolivia, Lima, Chosilla, Ecuador, Chile, Argentina, Uruguay, Russia. Moscow, Croatia, Serbia, Lithuania, uh, Rutzwald, Poland, 
Leicester, you came. Auckland, New Zealand, and this is our young group learning about the foundation because we had a young. This is our whirlpool. We did a program in the temple with the picture and stuff. Melbourne and Perth. Middle East. Ontario Desh. This is a house of the really underground movement there. Well around Desh, another underground. In Australia. The Vivian the Marais. We have annual RGB meetings, annual awards ceremony in Guapurnima, development workshops in my airport. Quartet <coughs> sessions on strategic planning in Peru and in Italy. He also went to Iran in the Freeport. He gave them seminars for a number. Here's some worldwide highlights. You want to see it? Who wants to see it? Hey, thank you. I'm not feeling the majority. Prophet wanted the temple activity should be a good example so that other people would see how the thieves are being worshipped and establish a simple way in their home. We had three national congregational educational conventions in South America. Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia. This was a combination where these are four countries, so our ministry needs some help to put on a national festival, bring in speakers from America and different places, some senior Prabhupada disciples. Temple, the temples gave them congregational ministry help, so there was a joint effort. Seminars on Bhaktivisha, mediation, reception, and hospitality. On the lower right, Kutaya Das is giving a mediation <coughs> seminar, and he's giving a demonstration. These two devotees had talked with each other for three years. They were, they were having some personality problems. <laughs> <laughs> after the mediation, during the mediation, they broke down crying, and afterwards, some of their best friends. <laughs> Robert said that we need to cooperate together, and for cooperation, we need communication. So, youth programs, family life, Anutanapu came from Washington, and he spoke about Vihasta life for the young Vihastas there. I spoke on Chaitanya's pastimes. Different seminars. It just happened we had a Rath Yatra at the uh, United Nations procession, the Feed the World Day. He's a hungry, I forget what he called it. 10,000 kids marching in the street, feed the hungry, feed the hungry. So we had our Rathyatra, and we just, we could never do the Rathyatra in La like, Paz, Bolivia, because there's so much fanatic Christians against it. But when we were with the United Nations, so it was like, and all the kids took Prashanam. We give out 10,000 kids for shout out the kids who are on television. This happened to be the same time as the festival. Weddings, dancing, need for Brahmins in society. 
Italy, one interesting thing is uh, Matsyavatara Prabhupada disciple who was a retired designer, very successful designer, interior designer in his uh, own right. Now he is retired and he does Central Studi Bhakti Vedanta. He gave more than 40 conferences and 20 seminars last year, aiming for the educated people. 220 people signed up for the courses and 50 took initiation. That's a pretty good percentage. He gives courses for health professionals, which is recognized by the Italian government. They own their own headquarters near Pisa. There's big festivals going on around the world. In Malaysia, they have 20 Rath Yatras in a year. More Rath Yatras per capita than any other country. It's an Islamic country, but there's 15% Hindus, mainly Tamils. Swiss South and North Indians are Telugu. But somehow the government lets each place have one rock answer a year. They go out in the street and so it's like a show for the minority. We're hearing another <laughs> nice preacher. The Vrindavan, they had this festival of inspiration last year. This last year. In Atlanta, they had a Nupani Hati festival. It's going to come up first, second, third, fourth. So welcome to come. Opposite corners of the country. I'm doing a Panihati festival also in Laguna uh, Beach in San Diego. We are closer by. Just to, just to cheer our dynamics at the whole festival is in Atlanta. <coughs> they have this festival of uh, Prabhupada in LA. And last year every year they have a, a retreat for the congregation. This year they also already have one for 200 of all these can stay for the weekend. In those retreats in South America. But the Baltics, they have, have a retreat that's for Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Belarus, and Belarus, and uh, Kaliningrad. Kaliningrad. They all come for this festival. Many other nearby people. In Russia, they have this festival in Anapa. Two thousand, three thousand people come. Huge festival, seven days. And they have also in Altai, in Siberia, 500 people. In Moscow, 1,000. In Croatia, they have a 10-day festival with the Rathiatra. People from Slovenia, Bosnia, Serbia, Croatia, nearby Austria, Italy. Serbia is an unfriendly place uh, to some extent, but so they have a festival there now with the Serbian devotees. In Australia, there's a friend called Lou Wolverdan, and they have a festival there. 
send in your regular scores so you can see how you're progressing. The temple here is Kuala Lumpur. Map some of their scores and see how they're progressing. Bosnia has eight Bhakti Viksha groups, even though it's an Islamic country. One center, they rent a hall every Sunday for a big feast. Bhana Gopinath and what's in the Mama Pat Mars told they're going to send me the scores, but I could never get all the scores. But they told me that it was exploding in America and Canada. Many black conditions there. I mean, I don't know that there's five black conditions here, but I know there's 12 in Toronto, six or 12. We don't get the scores. No, I heard recently it was sending. This was last December. 500 a day, 500 letters a month go to prisoners. We heard that there's nice programs in Chicago, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Salem, Oregon must be under this uh, this area. We heard that the same promoting. We heard that Oregon in the prison chocolate beads are sold along with the chocolates and snacks to the prisoners. Want a chocolate or a bead bag? I want a bead bag. I want a chant Hare Krishna. Sweeter than chocolate. <laughs> 100 Japa beads were sold and 7,500 books. In South India and in North India, in Chennai, they have six uh, prisons have congregational programs. In Delhi, they have a Tihar jail, a DP in Lucknow. We don't have pictures because they don't let you take pictures in the prisons. <laughs> we have a special program, Krishna Conscious Families. We're trying to expand this. Remember, Krishna Conscious Families, Shraddha Kutiers. Looks like you got a lot of Krishna conscious families here. Ten points of family. And then there's four. <laughs> this is the indoor Rathyatra and Matura days from last year. They gave out 6,000 packets of Pugal Kishri. In these Middle East countries, you can't have a rock catch on the street. So they rent an auditorium like this and go around and around. One time with the girl kids, and the ladies, and the men. You ever heard of indoor rock catch <laughs> <laughs> And indoor sports, why not? <laughs> Okay. Top 20 temples in the world, most of them are India and Asia. Washington has number 20. Russia 18. Top 5 large temples. Medium temples. Small temples. Top five congregations. Five Indian temples. East Asia. Europe, Russia, CIS, Thank you.
exchange should be number one. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Washington, Toronto, Montreal, Chicago. Seattle, Washington, Key. Increasing likely ratio went up from 749 last year to 793 this year. Now, Pontus went up to 1274. Council group, for two years we haven't got Chopaki uh, to send in all the school. I think it more than stays the same. Somehow we got less report for home programs. Shadakuti has increased his uh, Krishna conscious families 5,785. I'm sure this time we have tens of thousands of Krishna conscious families. We got this one really reported. This year, we've doubled it almost. 66,000 people attending educational programs. 32, 300,000 people attending Sunday feeds, almost 700,000 outdoor festivals, 75,000 indoor festivals, 45,000, 46,000 children programs. We get 189 sporadic reports and 35 regular. Bhakti Vinod Thakur is very important to have regular reports on how the progress is going. That's <laughs> good. Here we give special awards. We like to know from you North America. Few people we give awards that we do about. One went to Robopat Sami The 
Mark did you know for a while. Let's have a guitar and his wife for what they're doing in Italy that's quite groundbreaking. Continue to dance and Mardi, Govinda, and Devi for their commitment to congregation development and wish to play in the right channel. My Kunta Pati Das and Loka Mata Lakshmi. <coughs> this country, there was nobody there. There was no Hare Krishna. And this, uh, he got transferred from another country as a chapter accountant. Started weekly sent, you know, Gita classes and programs. Now there's about a thousand devotees in that country. He's retired. Krishna Kanta Desh. Not being filmed. This one is an underground. I'm not saying. Why are you taking that? I'm always taking <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Krishna.
So there are a lot of ways all in terms of that kind of organization. But uh, we are trying to develop our ministry and help the devotees around the world. So I did have a presentation about, I worked out first in the class. And then depending on what you'd like to see, I could show you the presentation of our annual report for the congregational ministry. You get an idea of what's going on with other congregations around the world. That yeah, interesting? Yeah. I thought probably first you'd like to hear something from Bible Gita or Shiva Bible or whatever you want to class first. So um, on Friday evening, Mark, we have a small group of meetings here. I think we can say that uh, right now we do make that instruction. We do one thing. Yeah. Like students, so what if you like it? It's open. But you see some of them have the, the nectar instruction in there. So we, we just finish our well, uh, It took us about two and a half years to finish our work. We started the games and we started the nectar instruction. And there's certain. Ahanga Sasun. I am your servant. That's so sweet. So I don't have a, I don't know what it's here. Someone find the verse. You can also say, accept a spiritual master, because you need someone as a teacher. So in the Vedas, there is a system called disciplic succession, or Guru Parampara. And Srila Prabhupada came to the United States in 1966, 65, 66, and he started initiating disciples. And Srila Jayapataka Swami is one of the very first disciples of Srila Prabhupada. And Prabhupada in San Francisco, they had a little temple in the 60s, back in the hippie days. And Jayapataka Swami was there. And these devotees from that temple started going all over the world, helping Srila Prabhupada. Those are the first Prabhupada disciples, the pioneers. And Jayapataka Swami is one of the very first to do that, go out. And he went to India. Most, he went to Montreal, he went to he went all over the world actually. He went to Chicago and I became a devotee because he helped start the Chicago temple. So they were helping their spiritual master. And even most of us Srila Prabhupada's, I also got initiated by Prabhupada, but actually most of Prabhupada's disciples are actually almost like disciples of Prabhupada's first disciples. And Officially, I'm a Prabhupada disciple. But I just want to encourage everyone that should have a, a, a spiritual master. Should, that's the system for getting spiritual knowledge, not just that I accept God. So Prabhupada established that. And Jayapataka Swami is, has done the same work for a long, long time. And I was in Chicago, and I was in a I heard there was this devotee that went around Chicago, it was Jayapataka Swami, and it was very difficult, it's very cold in Chicago. And to describe all the things that they had to go through to start that temple, but it's, it's, it was almost impossible to start that temple. But somehow or other I got a book and I heard about Jayapataka Swami, and that, nobody, nobody saw him, he was over in India, doing a lot of pioneering work over there. And we're all very fortunate, and so I heard about Mayapur, and Jayapataka Swami has been working on Mayapur project since the early 70s. And I heard about it, I was a high school boy, and about 15 or 16, and I got, I was looking for the book called um, The Teachings of Don Juan. <laughs> I don't know what that book's about, but I thought it was about, so, so I, was, I always read, like now they have the Da Vinci Code book, everybody, you know, it's like a famous book. I used to always read whatever famous book there was, even when I was little. 
So I was looking everywhere for the teachings of Don Juan, and I thought it was about how to get a lot of girlfriends or something like that, you know, how to take the drugs. <laughs> I couldn't find the book anywhere. So I went to the Hare Krishna temple and I saw they had a couple of some books on the table. It was in the old days. All I had was a card table and a very small temple. And then in one box, there was a box and it said the teachings of, you know, I thought maybe it's the teachings of Don Juan, you know? <laughs> it was the teachings of Lord Chaitanya. So, what? <laughs> well, I, had this, I couldn't find that teaching down one anywhere. I looked on, there's lots of bookstores in Chicago, and I used to go, I had a job, and I, I was looking everywhere, and I just said, oh, well, I'll just get the teachings of Lord Chaitanya, whatever that is about. <laughs> yeah. So I never really got a lot of girlfriends. <laughs> but I got the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. <laughs> And that's partly due to the work of Jaya Pataka Swami also. All of these devotees, they, they were just had a little temple in San Francisco. First it was in New York. And they started printing, making these books, like teachings of Lord Chichai, helping Prabhupada. They were just helping him. And, they, and Jaya Pataka Maharaj was over in India. They didn't even have any um, facility. They bought some land. They helped Prabhupada get some land in Mayapur. It was just pretty much mud. I saw some pictures. They told me, you can, if you... Um, sell these books, you know, every little bit of every book will go to help build this temple. They showed this building with um, bamboo scaffolding. It was hardly in this a bunch of mud. Jai Pataka Maharaj was over there. He was doing everything. And he's still there, and he's still traveling all over the world, and we're all very fortunate. He's also initiating disciples by the hundreds, even this year, last year. And he's very, very um, much an instrument in helping his spirit to master Srila Prabhupada. And I want to ask everyone to be humble and accept the spiritual master. Don't think that, you know, well, I can just accept God or I can just go accept Prabhupada as my guru. Yeah, Prabhupada, if you get initiated by Prabhupada's disciple or Prabhupada's grand disciple or whoever, if they're bona fide and authorized as a guru, then you're also initiated by Prabhupada as a grand spiritual master. So that's a system. And Jai Pataka Swami is very excellently representing Srila Prabhupada. And um, so are a lot of Prabhupada disciples, and even now in the future, grand disciples. So I want to thank him very much for doing all that. I can't even begin to describe what he's done. It's, it's all over the world, and he's still doing it. So thank you very much. And it's a very auspicious day. It's a good thing when we actually are wandering in this material world for so many lifetimes and on one certain day we get the opportunity to associate with the pure devotee of the Lord. It's like the odds of that happening are so uh, astronomical that one would actually come into contact with the pure devotee in this material world that it's compared to a tortoise who's living at the bottom of the ocean and he only surfaces once in 10,000 years. And there's a board floating on the ocean that has one knot hole in it. If that tortoise, when he surfaces once in 10,000 years, should happen for his head to go through the knot hole in that one board on the ocean, that's how rare it is to come into contact with the pure devotee of the Lord. So, for me, I have no real ability to fathom the magnitude of, of the opportunity of association of Vaishnava, the pure devotee of the Lord, but somehow or another, uh, due to the extreme attrition and suffering in this material world, I'm forced to reflect there must be some way to free myself. And so on this day I was thinking when I we were thinking about Sri Job talking about it's coming, in my heart I was happy and aware that this was a rare opportunity for me to come and somehow or another uh, get his blessings and, and to uh, associate with him in a humble way. Of course, I always feel inadequate uh, to do that, to associate with the pure devotee of the Lord, but at the same time, the pure devotee of the Lord is so magnanimous and kind that he is coming of his own accord just to please his spiritual master, to please Krishna. So actually, it's a difficult position for a pure devotee because him, he himself is uh, not seeking any adoration or distinction, but in order to please his spiritual master, 
he's willing to take the position so that he can benefit others. And this is a great uh, compassionate nature of the pure devotee of the Lord. So on this day, when Sujab Takamahas came, I, I feel very fortunate and I thank all of you for coming and I pray to Krishna that uh, we can somehow or another uh, have a spiritual joyous uh, association and make wonderful spiritual advancement. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, and uh, at this point, I would like to uh, uh, say a few words uh, regarding uh, accepting a spiritual master. Uh, it was instruction of uh, actually uh, of Lord Chaitanya. <clears throat> Some time ago, he mentioned uh, I'll be there for only 950 years, 9,500 uh, 9, years. So uh, we may not be getting that opportunity again as a, we may not be getting a human body next time, we may not know. But now we have a human body and coming here to Iskhan Temple, Hare Krishna Temple. Thank you for watching our videos. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. And don't forget to like and share our channel.